Hello out there again, all my crafty friends. I thought I would come on here and do two things. I'm gonna share you share with you some of the things I've been working on, and this might just be sensory overload. Um, <laughs> but anyhow, I'm gonna share a few things and shout out to my friend Michelle Scott. Michelle. Uh, you were an inspiration for part of this. I was already kind of pulling out my bags and making some pockets and things with them, but I thought I'd come on here and show you what I did. So I'm going to pull some of those out in just a minute. But one of my, I'm going to do something else real quick, like a little, just a little small, quick, you know, down and dirty tutorial. One of my subscribers, Deborah Ring, asked me how I folded my music sheets in... I guess I think I did this in one of my golden books and I think I did it in some of my file folder journals but just so you know Deborah this is a really big so this is a big music sheet so this thing is like 12 by 9 so and when you take these books apart and this was just some that um, I got at a thrift store so when you take these apart it's you know it's big so you know it's 18 you know, anyway, I'm not a mathematician. Anyhow, it's like 18 by what, 12, 16, something like that. So what I do is when you take the book apart, you've got this whole, you got the whole sheet. So I fold it up depending on what size my book is here. So like for the golden books, it's like eight. So I'll come up to like seven and a half to make a, you know, to make a pocket and make a big pocket. And then, so then you can, where the pocket is here, you can fold it in this way and then fold over again like that. And I hope I'm in frame. Anyway, you got it. So you can fold it up to make the pocket here and then fold it over like this and back and then just fold it down like this. And then what I do is I take my little tiny attacher and just staple it right here or you can glue it right here or you can just leave that. You can leave this flap. I usually glue that down and I'll put like a little embellishment or something there. So you can do it that way and then do it the other, you know, the same way on the other side. Okay. So when you put it in your book, you know, you've got your page like that and two pockets and then the flip goes out that way. Okay. So, or you can fold it the other way. So you can fold it this way so that your pockets are on this side of the page and when you open it up, it flips out like that. So either way you wanna do it, it's real easy, but it, but it does take a big, you know, it does take that big music sheet. Now you can do it with a eight and a half by 11, you know, as long as you've got your pages together and do it the same way. So I hope that helps you. Um, if not, let me know. If you have any more questions about anything else I do, let me know. That was just because they were so big. Um, and I wanted to, you know, I wanted to keep like some of these things in here. And then you get the little, you know, the little images up here. So anyhow, so that's that. And then I've been making pockets. I took that really big, I don't know if y'all saw that in a, I don't know if, did I share that? I got a really big uh, Mother Goose book from a lady on Etsy. And, oh, I can't remember her name right now, but she's actually in North Carolina. She's not far from me. But uh, anyway, it was a really big book. It was like 11 by 14, and it just had all these, just all these great illustrations in it. And the pages were so big, you really couldn't use it in a journal, you know, fold them up, you'd lose a lot of it. And you know, I had a hard time taking it apart, but it was already kind of coming apart. So I thought, you know, I'll take these images and use them like this. So I made some pockets and this is a grocery bag, as you can see inside, it's a Lowe's food grocery bag. I don't know if you can see that, it's green on the inside. But I took my grocery bags and cut them up and y'all let me know if you want a quick tutorial on this, but there's a lot of, there's a ton of pocket 
you know, tutorials out there. And, um, you know, you pretty much just cut, you know, cut you a, a rectangular piece of paper and then you fold it over or glue it and then, you know, fold it up at the bottom. And you kind of cut cut the edges off. And Shelly Lynn does it on Crafting Mama. She shows you how to make library pockets. It's the same thing. You can make the pockets whatever size you want. Michelle Scott has cool, you know, cool tutorials on how to make all kinds of pockets, envelopes, decorate them. Her paper bags, using the lunch paper bags. There's a ton of tutorials out there and I'll link some of those girls below. But I just thought um, I would you know, since I, I was kind of messaging with Michelle, telling her that I was inspired by her video because I had my stuff out and I was actually making these. But so I took some, so the grocery bag, and then I took some of my old ledger paper that I have. That's really it's it's pretty frail, so you can't really use it as pages. I hate it. I wish I could, but it's just too fragile. And I just kind of glued that down. You can use Mod Podge. You can use glue stick. You can, whatever glue you have. And then I tore some of the images out and then added some little fabric and buttons. And then I hand stitched down the side. So I love the way this came out. I gotta glue this little guy's coming apart. But uh, anyway, and then so I thought, well, you know, I'll put a tag in there. So I had a bunch of tags already cut out and I just added some scrapbook paper and some, some of my little fabric. I pulled out my fabric scrap box, you know, my buttons and, and um, just kind of had a lot of fun with these so I made that one and then I did the little the little dude and the dog really cute I love the, these images were just awesome and I took the little poem that went with him and made like a little tag with the poem and stuck that in there along with the tag so I did the same thing and added the twine and stuff and little buttons my scrap I did my scrap bin and then did the hand stitching so there's that one and then I need to go back and get the poem that this, this is Miss Muffet, I think. Is that who she is? I don't know. Anyway, she's cute, but more buttons, fabric, scraps, pieces of the and my mind keeps going blank on this stuff. Cheesecloth. Every time I get to get on video, I can't remember what it is. Another tag. You know, just some of my scraps but I thought they turned out so cute. I hadn't stitched, I hadn't stitched those two yet. I don't know if y'all can see, I have them in frame. And then here's, uh, Mary had a little lamb, and then I, no, Bye Bye Black Sheep, my bad. And I've got to, I got to ink that, I forgot to ink that, and then added a tag in here. So there's that one. Um, let's see. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Do y'all remember that <laughs> when you were kids? So that's her. And then I, I added a little piece of vintage um, tape measure that I had left over from, I put that in one of my golden books. Anyway, I held on to that for a long time because that was my mother's, but anyhow, use that. And then I made some envelopes, same way. You know, you just cut them. Uh, you know, you cut a square and you fold it over. Anyway, you got, if you've got an envelope maker, you can do this, but this was the same concept and I just did some collaging with some Curious George stuff on the front and the back, add a little button and some stitching. So these are little things that'll, I don't know if I'm gonna do some embellishment packages and put them on. Uh, Etsy or if I'm just you know these might be things that that you'll get as extra goodies when you purchase a journal I'm not sure they might you know just go on my books and then this is a tag that I'd already made before but some other things so I made all those and I'm still I'm still working on those I've got some other those in progress I thought I'd share that and then another thing that Elizabeth Never Hopeless was sharing some coin envelope uh, paper clips. And I don't have any coin envelopes, but I had all these scraps. <laughs> so, and this is another thing that I was working on all kinds of embellishments and stuff, but between her and Michelle, I was really inspired. So it kind of switched up what I was doing or, you know, um, a little bit anyway. 
So, I've been making a bunch of paper clips. So, and these are other, let me go over these first. So she was, Elizabeth was doing the coin envelopes, but what I did was I took some of my scraps of paper and I folded it over and then I cut the um, banner shape and then just cut a little notch right here for my paper clip and put my paper clip down in there and glued the banner together. So I had a banner base. And then I just added all these little bits that I have in my stash. So I made the little puppy dog, another little puppy dog, um, and just layered them. So he goes this way, you know, and this one goes sideways like that. And this is another one that just goes straight up. And just, you know, it's a good way, a great way to use up all your bits. Now, these are not clips. These are just little tuck spots, but trying to, I have all these little pieces of all this stuff that I'm trying to use up. And this is, I don't know, when I can't focus on a big project, this is what I do. So then I end up with this box of a ton of stuff. <laughs> so here's some other ones that I did. And these were taking the book page. Linda Israel did a video. Let me see how, okay. Uh, Linda Israel did a video on how you fold your book pages and like take half of a book page and fold it over and fold it over again put your paper clip put your paper clip in there and then glue it and then you just kind of ink it around so you got like a flat base for a paper clip and you can put whatever you want on them and it's really cool because I mean you can I have a tendency to get my embellishments too bulky so I have to be careful because I love adding texture and buttons and all that stuff. But these really, you know, they, they lay really well when you put them on something like, they just, they really, they just look really cool. And these are some other little bits out of the Mother Goose book that I have just been cutting that thing up, let me tell you. And then butterflies and, you know, fabric scraps and buttons. And they turn out really, really cute. It was just a little girl. So you can see how they sit. And then this one's a little bit bigger. So you see how cute they look on a page? And then this little guy, so he goes sideways. Just thought they turned out super, super cute. I'm loving them. I'm still working on some. But um, I just wanted to come and share with you guys kind of what I've been working on and there's so many, so many tutorials out there on how to make paper clips and, you know, just a plethora of ideas. So I hope you guys, um, you know, will try it. Uh, this is the way, so this is one of the first type of paper clips I made, just like a banner where, you know, it clips on like this. And, and these are great too, but this kind of clip right here to me just works better. It's like it sits on the page, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with these. I like these too, but, um, I really like the way this type, this type of paper clip or this type, and you don't have to do it in a banner. You can just use your, you know, you can just use the paper like this, just the square shape of paper and put the paper clip, you know, in the middle and glue it together. So it's a, you know, it sits flat anyway, just so many things you can do. So I thought I would share and share the ladies that have inspired me to do these. Um, and these are so much fun. You can use anything, just any bits and pieces you have in your stash. Uh, anyhow, I thought they were a lot of fun. So, you know, I have this box now that's just full, 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 full of goodness that I can use in my journals. Anyhow, Hope you all are having a great day. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Um, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like this or leave me a comment if you want to see some of my process. I, I kind of have a hard time doing those. I film in a different place than where I actually work. But I can do, you know, little small tutorials here and there. If you guys want to see something, just let me know. Love you all. Have a great day. Bye.